So in this video, I show you how I built my best battery pack yet. It's for my electric bicycle. It's 35 amp hours and only cost me $90 in parts. That's like a tenth of the commercial price. And then I test it out. And you're just going to have to watch the video to see how it does. Well, Kitty approves of the new package. To start off my electric bicycle battery, I need lithium cells, and I get those from laptop battery packs. So I found an auction on eBay that had 15 laptop batteries, and, and each battery pack had, fifth, uh, had 12 cells inside of it. So I bought one, and I proceeded to test it. Now, when I took it apart, I find they have four cells connected by a steel clip that is tacked on there, and so that's really good. That's awesome. And they are made by Sony in 2007. Good brand name and good year because they're anything un under a decade is awesome. And I proceeded to test them. I was hoping for at least 1.5 amp hours per cell, but I still probably would have bought them if they were only one amp hour per cell. They happened to be at least two amp hours. And after that, I knew I wanted them anyway, so I just went ahead and stopped the testing and bought the rest of the batteries. So these very well may, may be three amp hours per cell, but I can count at least they're two amp hours. So this is 4.2 volts at eight amp hours counting because there's four cells. Since those batteries tested out okay, I proceeded to purchase the rest of the battery packs I needed. I really didn't expect them to come in, in store packaging. That's pretty nice. Or it also means there's more for me to cut through, but oh well. And so now I shall proceed to open up the packaging, rip open the battery packs, and get the cells out. Or the, the packs of cells. And I should end up with a lot of those. Oh, and I ordered one extra pack because you know how I like to keep computer stuff new in their boxes. It's always nice. Okay, so guess how long it took me to get it even this far. Two fucking hours. And it looks like I ran it up, ran them over with a truck anyway, so it's... I don't know. I'm going to have to find a better method to get them open. Well, now that I got these three battery packs out, now we got to charge them, because they're at like 3.7 whatever volts. So I take these neodymium magnets, and I pop them onto each side. I can hook them together, and that keeps them together. Then I can take my power supply, up to like 10 inch volts or whatever, and can plug it in. Now the batteries themselves are reading 11.2 volts, and I'll bring the voltage up. And I'll let it uh, keep putting in one amp out, uh, one amp of charging current, and that'll take a couple hours to charge. So after about a week or so of taking these apart every so often, I finally have six battery packs taken apart. And this is how they're going to look as the completed battery pack. This will be 24 volts. Possibly 24 to 36 amp hours, coupled with my other 9 amp hour pack, should give me possibly more than 40 amp hours. And once I have these all uh, taped up properly, I believe I might have them alternating next to each other, like, like that, so that I can cross the wires over. Probably have them go over in a loop like that. And then the power can go through them like that, cell by cell. And as for the wire, I have picked this 12-gauge green copper wire. I thought it, I couldn't pass up the color because it looked pretty kind of vintage, you know? So here you go, here's the battery pack.
pretty sturdy actually. Not counting it'll have it'll be in, it, I'll probably put it, uh, it inside of a box, but still it's pretty awesome. Now I can solder it together. Now that they're all strapped together, we got to connect them. So I'm going to take these nails that I've flattened the ends so they lay flat, and I'm going to use them as soldering joint things, and I'll solder them together. And they should make good, strong contacts. Not only will they be rigid for the structural integrity of it, but it'll also carry a lot of amperage. And it's finally done. It's only taken me, what, three weeks to finish? Now I'm just going to cut about two feet of this wire off and have it going from positive and negative to going off. Actually, I'll probably have them coming off and then wrapping around so that if I were to pull on the wire and on accident, it wouldn't pull on the solder joints. It would be pulling on the tape that would be holding it. And now for the shielding, I'll take the case that it came in, several of these, and cut the plastic out and put the plastic over the front and a bit of the side and stuff and I'll, I'll duct tape that up so it'll have a layer of uh, plastic over it. That should be nice. Nice and sturdy. Not counting, it's really strong as it is right now anyway, so there's pretty much no movement in the battery. Of course, I'm going to go over every soldering joint and make sure everything's all okie dokie. Probably going to, I might even heat, heat a couple of more of them up just to make sure they're all melted all, all nicely because I definitely hate to have any cold solder joints. Well, I got the wire soldered in and connected to it, duct tape, and I already got half the side with the plastic hooked on. I'm just going to leave it with that so you can see the HP and stuff. So it's obviously a battery. Well, it looks like it. <laughs> I just thought it was kind of cool to leave that on there. Now time to do the other side. So there it is. It's all finished. I can't believe it. I really like my my upgrades I did to my design because this is my first version of the battery. I, be, I just soldered them together. This is back when, uh, whenever I made this, I barely even understood lithium batteries. I mean, I, I had a good grasp on them, but still, I, I wasn't real, real well versed in them. And this is my second battery. Large step up. I like that. And the thing is, I'm going to build two of these but I can still run my battery with only one because this is a 48 volt battery and this is a 24 volt battery well what I'll, what I'll do is I'll take this battery and I'll disconnect it if I disconnect it right here it works as two 24 volt batteries so I'll run the this as two strands of 24 volt in parallel and then I'll run this in series with that so that so this will be instead of being a 48 volt uh, 9 amp hour battery, it'll be a 24 volt 18 amp hour battery hooked to this 24 volt mm, 35 amp hour battery. Uh, I'm not entirely sure of the amp hours, but it's a lot. So let's go on a bike ride. Uh, we are right now in the uh, at the entrance to the main camping grounds of St. Joe State Park.
So I went for about a three-hour bike ride, and I just kept going back and forth because I was trying to film things. It was about 20 miles, but 20 miles to those hills was uh, like 60 miles, which I that's that's how long I reckon this battery pack with that battery pack could last is 60 miles. Now, if I make a second one of these and run a, uh, a second one of these and run it with that, that I'm talking like 120 miles, and it's like blows my mind. Well, that's on like relatively flat land and not too much wind, but with that bicycle trail, I was able to get up to like close to 30 or 35 miles per hour on a lot of the areas. Uh, and usually I didn't dip b below like 15 miles per hour. Some of the bigger hills I got down to like maybe 14 or 12 miles an hour, but most of the time I could still go at a reasonable pace. After I got back to the campsite, um, the, the, bi the bicycle could go maybe 10 to 15 miles an hour, but then I let it sit a little bit, and the lithium ion batteries kind of just found a little a residual charge, and then can get back up to 17 miles an hour. So there's still like a reserve amount of energy left in the battery. But it's I don't want to push it too far. I don't want to uh, short out the batteries by discharging them too much. Well, I hope you learned a lot from this video and that it was really entertaining. If you have any, any input at all, please feel free to tell me. And if you have any questions, like if you're trying to build an electric bicycle too, feel free to ask me any question you want. Well, see ya.